What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Unknown Codings channel. Got another set of wheels today. I know there's been some people complaining that I'm doing wheels too much, but honestly, suck it. By the way, if you ever have a job where you have to give speeches in front of people, pepper in the phrase suck it. Very empowering. This whole channel is basically built on wheels, and I love wheels, especially old, rare Japanese wheels like these ones. So, this is Advan RGs. Um, they're supposed to end up looking about like this. Uh, the customer actually wanted a little bit brighter white, but this is, as you can see, kind of a weird metallic-y white, uh, of course, with the blue stripe. There was a weld done on this uh, prior to this customer getting this wheel. The weld actually looks okay, but they did almost no cleanup work on it, so I end up doing that for them later. I don't think I even show it in the video. These are going into our Express Cam chemical strip setup. I have a video coming out in just a few days about this setup and how well it's been working and everything I like, everything I dislike, and some more all right, uh, information. All stripped and a bunch of these have curb rash. Uh, nothing too crazy, but as I've said in other videos, I like to do the curb rash repair before blasting. Um, I think it's just a little easier to see. It's a little more defined when you get it all gone. Um, and then the blasting just kind of evens out that whole surface once again. So, like I said, it's only on a couple of these and it's not too bad. But I'm going to grab an 80 grit uh, disc, throw it on the DA, and knock these out. Alright guys, and while we watch me do that, I need you guys' help. Only about 20-something percent of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. It means like 70% of you guys are not. And... I am trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. I know that's not like a crazy huge goal, but it is a goal of mine. So if you could hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications, I would desperately help the channel. Um, you know, like, comment, all those things. Uh, just a quick note, the customer wanted the back pad of these unblasted entirely. Um, that's why you see me masking this with the, you know, duct tape that I use for blasting. Um, everything else is still did the same. He just didn't want the back blasted. So I got them all blasted, uh, got everything out gassed. Got the back pads mounted, and then, of course, I'm hitting them here with a torch. Uh, just, this usually just get rid of any lint or anything that might be stuck to the blasted surface. Uh, I recommend it for pretty much everything, by the way. Then I'm going to be spraying blue. Uh, I want to say this is RAL 5022 is the match for the Advan Blue, uh, at least the blue stripes that are on RGs. Um, only worried about getting powder in this one little area. Of course, you're going to have overspray. I did not worry about the overspray. I did some testing on some panels before to make sure that white would cover that blue just fine, and that's including putting layers of clear coat on top of that, which are the things that tend to pull colors through white. Um, everything was fine. Um, I believe the white that I'm using here is Cardinals WH-11. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it was Cardinals WH-11. Just be aware if you do try to lay one color over another, those colors can have a negative interaction, especially if you're putting clear over it. Um, so once again, just be aware of the colors. Uh, I Like I said, I did some testing. I always recommend doing testing if you're going to do this, or you could always go through, remove all of the overspray, you know, with a vacuum or the wiping process or whatever you got to do uh, to have that not be an issue. Um, I decided to risk it, once again, only based on testing. I actually love Advan RGs. It's one of my favorite wheels. This is probably the maybe fifth or sixth set I've done on the channel. Uh, I think this is the second or third set that I've done for this actual customer. So this is a very old wheel, uh, very rare. There are new versions of this wheel, you know, the Advan uh, RG2 and 3, I believe. Um, but these are the classics. These are the OGs. These are the ones that kind of everybody wants. I will say there is like a little spot where the spoke rolls down into the lip. There's that little edge right there uh, that does not love to take powder. So you'll see me focus on those areas. Even after I've coated the whole wheel, I go back and focus on those areas because the one time that I was ever light in an area that I had to redo was right there. So uh, if you're doing wheels like this, just make sure you pay attention to that. Uh, TE37s tend to do the same thing right at the where the spoke rolls down into the lip. So now that the white's on there, and we need to remove all the white from the blue. Now, a lot of people are going to say, why didn't you just mask this? Uh, masking this would have been an absolute nightmare. So the groove that I'm in right there is a nice, pretty well-defined groove, but at each end of the groove is a rounded edge. And then on top of that, uh, I don't know, it's, I guess, convex, no, concave. So trying to get tape down into that 
round and then also have clean edges would be nearly impossible. So I'm using some, uh, you know, a shop vac with some different attachments. Um, I'm not going to mention who the attachments are from just yet because I'm not sure that I love them for one. And I think part of the reason that I don't love them is the quality of the actual part. Now that's not taking shots on anybody and I might be using something wrong. That's why I'm not saying anything. Uh, this is also me doing it with just a Bic pen that was had all the stuff removed. Um, this has been my go-to for doing kind of small defined things. It's very easy to control, very clean um, pickup. And then I went back to another tool. Once again, could be using it wrong. Don't want to bash anybody that I sort of love, sort of didn't love. I tried different variations of it. Um, I think I just need a little more practice and then I will have a video coming out kind of explaining what I do and don't like. What you see I'm using here is actually a syringe with like a plastic end. I don't remember what the ends are called. Um, if you ask me in the comments, I'm sure I could tell you. But that's for doing really, really, really fine, you know, really tight powder pickup. Um, cured those, obviously. That's what you saw, the blue with the white stripe. And now I am putting a custom mixed flake over top of these. I was trying to match the flake that was on the original Advan color and nothing from any company was what I needed it to be. Uh, shattered glass, light shattered glass actually was pretty close, but the type of flake was drastically different. So I ended up ordering just a flake and mixing it into a clear to get as close a match as I possibly could for this customer. The customer wasn't going to be too picky about it. We were doing a match to that wheel that I showed you earlier on in the video, but it didn't have to be absolutely perfect to that. He actually wanted it a little bit brighter. And I told him, all right, well, I'll try to get as close as I possibly can with the flake, but I don't know what flake they used 20 something years ago. <laughs> so I'm going to guess and see how close I can get this. Uh, we're coating the whole wheel, of course. And as a result of that, the blue stripe is going to be being coated as well, which means we're going to have to vacuum it once again. I will say this, watching myself on video kind of grosses me out now. Uh, I'm way too fat. <laughs> I'm going to be working on that. So if you see me uh, slimming down in here, I'm not doing drugs or anything. I'm just probably eating less garbage. I'm sure I'll still absolutely look like trash. And I'll probably still wear ridiculous things on my head like this. I'll just be slightly less fat, which is probably a positive. So once that's all on, of course, we're going to have to go back and vacuum it and... Uh, once again, I think trying another tool, trying to find the right tool to do this exact job. Um, what I have learned over the years of using a vacuum to do this type of job is there are multiple good ways of doing it. Uh, I don't, there are tools online. There's, you know, guys that do nothing but sell products to do this and they work fairly well. Uh, so does a big pen. So it's just a matter of finding what you like to use. I don't think that there's anything that I've seen that's you know, mind blowing in this regard. Uh, I was doing this well before anybody was making tools to do it using different size hoses and things like that. And I think Columbia Codians actually used to sell a little kit with some variations in hose, like a tubing size. So you could do different size things. Um, I tend to use, you know, a Bic pen in my finger the most. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if you want to spend money and go buy other equipment, I'm not telling you not to do that. Once again, I'm going to have a video coming out kind of explaining my thoughts on some of the different vendors that do sell this stuff. But we're done with the wheels now. And as you can see, they came out absolutely gorgeous. Um, the blue stripe is mint. It's perfect all the way around to all the edges. Uh, the color is great. The customer was super stoked. It was exactly what he wanted, you know, slightly brighter than the original finish. Um, got to get these things out in the sun here to actually show you the color that, that Rao 5022 is definitely much brighter in the sun. I mean, you could say that probably about most things, but it's very blue when it's in the sun. And when it's not in the sun, it tends to almost be like a black color. Uh, this is the NSX that they went on. Uh, this is the same NSX that the last set went on. Advan stickers all added. And as you can see, this car is absolutely stunning. It has a ton of really good rare modifications, uh, from Japan and I absolutely love this car. I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and we'll see you next time.